I'm meeting with my family tonight here at the Animator's Palace on board the Disney Wonder. Wave. Yay, good job, all right. And as you're about to see, the folks here at Disney have redefined the dining experience to make it something you'll never forget. Stepping out with my baby. Can't go wrong, cause I'm in right. But then the dining experience on board the ship is so unique. We have three dining rooms that are used each night three major dining rooms and it's based on a rotational concept so guests unlike on any other cruise ship afloat rather than eating every night in the same main dining room our guests eat every night in a different dining room which makes it a very unique dining experience a very unique experience in general the fun restaurant on board the ship is the animated palette which we actually have a show in and it uh, comes alive <laughs> Walls all have different characters all around the whole restaurant. Pictures of different characters, and gradually they color them. And they like turn on, the, turn all lights off, and play a movie. And then all the waiters come out and like this big parade sort of thing with Mickey. The show was very nice, very interesting. Something that you wouldn't see anywhere else. We have uh, Parrot Key, a Caribbean style restaurant. We uh, had wonderful dining experiences. The evenings were great. Um, really good selection of food, and it was it was wonderful. And then we have Triton, which is very formal, uh, more of a jacket and tie affair. It has a feeling of a very uh, nice first-class restaurant. One of the things that our guests appreciate so much is despite the fact that they change every night into a complete different dining experience, a different dining room, different entertainment in the dining room, different menus, is the fact that their waiter, which is with them from the very night on, is going with them every single night. Having different restaurants but the same wait staff that get to know your needs um, really helps out a lot and having some a different restaurant to eat in is always a lot of fun too. Palace is very special. Um, first of all, we're in adults-only dining experience, and we're on the, the tenth deck, so we have a 180-degree view of the back of the ship. Um, we have only about 140 seats in here, and it's uh, a reservation-only restaurant, so it's very private and has its own ambience to it. This is the night. It's a beautiful night. The cuisine up here is um, based around northern Italy. And at night, we have what we call a show kitchen. And the kitchen's open all through the evening service. You know, they, they can see all the chefs doing their work. You know, I enjoy it, you know, and so do the boys. We have a uh, cellar master with three additional assistant cellar masters. The assistant cellar masters take care of the various dining rooms, the rotational dining rooms and the cellar master overlooks the entire wine program. The wine tasting event on our ship, it's called the Stem to Stern Wine Tasting, is something that's near and dear to my heart because it gives us an opportunity, myself and my team of wine storekeepers, to actually interact with the guests and taste wine with the guests. Oh, what little moonlight can do. The Disney Wonder and the Disney Magic have gotten together and partnered and we have chosen the best selections of wine to complement the kind of cuisine that we're serving on both ships. We have one very special bottle. It's our Ribeiro del Duro. It's called Bel Duro. This wine is very special because there's only two ways that you can get it. One would be purchasing a Rolls Royce where you get to have a full case to your name. The second one is to come on a Disney cruise ship and enjoy a bottle with us in one of our restaurants. What a little moonlight. And no. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your cruise director Jim welcoming you to the Bahamas. Talk to anyone who's been on one of the Disney cruise lines and they'll tell you one of their favorite memories was the day spent here at Castaway Key. It's Disney's private island paradise in the Bahamas. My name is Günther Schmitz, I'm Austrian and uh, I'm the island manager. Our first area is the landing island where the, where the ship docks. From the landing island, uh, the, the guests uh, walk to, uh, towards cargo handling. That's our first tram stop. Then 
then from there they uh, move to Scottles Cove. The children's space on Cartes we call Scottles Cove. So we have a separate itinerary that takes place on the island that's different to what takes place on the ship. We do have sand toys, water hoses, and buckets and things for them to play around with. And the six to eights also do a dig at Monsters Point, which is our big whale skeleton back there, so they get to help our paleontologist in discovering new fossils. Oh my goodness, what is this? Uh oh, I have to get the book for this one guy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Uh oh, what about that one? What does that look like? I think this is one of Monstro's teeth. A whale tooth! Oh my goodness! Once we get a castaway key, for the teens, we have what we call a teen beach. It's a teen only beach. We do have different sections set up for the various age groups there, uh, so the parents can get away, have some fun. Yeah, we do have uh, quite a few uh, people that uh, go and see our snorkel area. In the snorkel area you can see a lot, uh, lot of different fish. Uh, there are artifacts in the snorkel area that have been, uh, have been placed by us to make it uh, look like uh, a shipwreck uh, site. The other area that we, uh, we call it uh, Serenity Bay uh, includes the adult beach. Uh, first of all, you can get massages there. There are massage cabanas. Oh, we just had the best massage that we've ever had. Wow, it was really good. The adult beach was, uh, was meant to, to give uh, parents or singular adults uh, the opportunity to just relax and uh, be on their own. We're traveling with a couple teenagers, so we got rid of them and came here. <laughs> it's just been relaxing. Everybody's catered to us. It's been nice that we can have fun, but we know our son's having fun. I think what uh, people really appreciate most about Casa de Key uh, it's the opportunity for them uh, to, to just relax and enjoy themselves. It's beautiful. It's everything you could want. The weather, the water is gorgeous. It's that water you see on commercials. <laughs> you actually get to swim in. And it's all right here. Just you wait and see. Oh yes, I did other cruises, but this one was by far the best. From start to finish, it was more than I've ever expected. It was perfect. Couldn't ask for more. It was magic, absolutely. Save.